Hi there, welcome to this new video on Zebra. Um, today it's going to be a little bit different. I've just received the new Zebra 2.7 upgrade and I'm just going to go over some of the things that come with that. And basically what that's going to be is the new distortion units that you can use up the top here. Distortion 1 and 2 or in the effects section, distortion 3 and 4. Now we'll just what I'm going to do is I'll just load up a patch of mine and we'll I'll go through it. I'll just load up this acid patch, which sounds like this. And we'll add a distortion in here. So if we just add a distortion in series. There we go. This is a new distortion that's now available in Zebra 2.7. It's basically an analog type distortion with several different types. Now I'll just go through each of these sections and just explain what they are. Now the way it works is the sound comes into the input stage or the gain, then goes to the pre-tilt filter, goes to the distortion or is distorted, goes to the post-tilt filter, then goes to the post filter, which is down here, and then goes to the output stage. Now, tube class A simulates a complete tube preamp. It's a class A traditional type of tube distortion. It creates odd and even harmonics and it sounds quite warm because of that. So, we'll take it off. Put it on. Okay, so you can hear it working there, not very much, but we can use these to create our different types of distortion. Then we have tube class AB. Now this sim simulates a preamp with two tubes and a push-pull arrangement. It's a symmetrical distortion with no even harmonic partials. Then we've got tube two stages. Okay, you're not really hearing much at the moment because we're not moving anything, but I'm just explaining what each type is. So the tube two stages mimics uh, a tube amp with two class A stages in series. Uh, again, it creates odd and even harmonics. However, it results in a richer and more dynamic sound than, say, tube A. It also applies additional internal filtering and feedback for more sonic complexity and at high gain settings should be more pronounced uh, there should be more pronounced treble roll off and more bass lift hard clip uh, chops off the top and bottom of the waveform uh, rectify this is full wave rectification basically the negative half of the wave becomes positive and the resulting waveform is thread fed through a DC locking filter. Um, the next one is feedback, uh, sorry, fold back, which is otherwise known as a fold over distortion. It's similar to a soft clipping stage, however, increasing the gain does not slam the signal against the ceiling but reduces the, the gain instead. <laughs> can hear that operating there. Uh, input is exactly what you think, it's the input gain and the output, that sets the final output gain. Now, we'll get into these, what these mean now. Uh, the pre-tilt, that combines a low and high shelving EQ. So let's have a listen. You can hear it affecting the sound there. A negative pre-tilt strengthens the bass and the treble. Sorry, it's, it strengthens the bass and dampens the treble. You can hear that working. So more bassy, less treble, and opposite the other way. The center frequency button is combined low and high shelf frequency control. So, you 
basically you can manipulate the frequency that these two buttons work on, that these two knobs operate at. Post tilt balances the tone after the distortion, it's similar to the pre tilt. So. The post filter down here, it's a dual band shelf, um, when it's on dual band shelf should I say. Is corrective EQ, it's corrective EQ, low shelf at 100 hertz, high shelf at 10 kilohertz. So, that's you adding and subtracting on the low shelf frequency, which is 100 hertz and 10 kilohertz on the high. Then we have guitar cab 4 times 12, which uh, mimics the frequency responsive. Uh, popular vintage speaker cabs. It produces a typical mid-ranged focus sound. And the low and high, as I said, in dual band shelf mode, so in here, the low and high controls the gains of the shelving filters. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory as I explained earlier which is the 100 and the 10k and in guitar cab mode it determines the amount of cabinet resonance bass and the speaker's edge so again bass and the speaker's edge makes it more brighter edgier that kind of thing so that's the new distortion unit the best way to use it the best way to learn it, as with everything, is just to use it. So let's see if we can, let's see what we can can do to this acid sound by messing around with it. So as you can see, it can really make a, a huge difference on your sound. It's definitely more edgy, more aggressive with that type of, uh, with the distortion on there. And again, you can add it down in the effects section here. So let's add a distortion in here. Pop on to send two. times have you done that before? I just done that with the effects not being turned on so let's try that again shall we? So when you add it down here That's made it kind of more um, more bassy, more deep, warmer if you like, and more aggressive. So yeah, this is the first of me using it. Um, so have a look at it, play around with it. It's a great new inclusion, and as you like, you can use distortion one there and distortion two, and down here you can have three and four. So mess around with it, have fun with that, and see what you can come up with. It should be great for your harder edge sounds, and it does sound like a very nice distortion unit. The other thing that's been added in Zebra 2.7, one is support for Pro Tools, and the other one is all of these nice new presets. I'll just let you hear some of them.
see what that sounds like without the distortion on it. That distortion three, it's got the guitar cab, so it's making it sound, you can tell, it's almost sound like a guitar, no? So yeah, nice. So yeah, some really nice new sounds in there from Howard Stern. Some new additions, some real nice new sounds there that you can work on. Find some stuff, adapt them. Let's see what his basses are like. That's lovely. It's got your distortion on it, yeah. see these new presets have been using the distortion. Not all of them. I was stealing that one for sure and changing it a little bit. It's lovely nice starting position. Nice sound that. So yeah, this this is just a little quick video to show you the new inclusions and the new upgrade to Zebra 2.7. I just got it today. This is the first of me looking at it. Any questions about it, please uh, get in touch and I'll hopefully be able to answer them. I'm going to mess around with it a bit more, get a bit more understanding of it and test it out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it's given you a nice, quick primary first overview of the distortion unit and some nice new presets to play with. Thanks for watching. <laughs>